Hi, friends of the twins. Welcome back to our channel. It's me, Shonda, and today I'm going to show you how I have decorated my formal dining room for Christmas. If this is something that you're interested in, please stay tuned. So, friends, I'm going to take a minute and show you how I made the centerpiece to go in the middle of the table. This is actually just a curtain panel, a grommet curtain panel. I love the texture in it, and I thought it'd be exactly what I needed for the center. So here goes. And you guys know that I have acreage and plenty of pine trees. So I went out and just got me two pine cones from my yard, took some spray paint and just painted them gold. You can always use uh, things around your house. Always try to shop your house first before you go out and buy things. Cause I've found that a lot of times something that you remove from one room because it does just not looking like you want to look, you take it to a different part of the house and it's perfect.
And this is a curtain tie back. I got this from Ross. I love the material on it. It's kind of satin and of course has the bling in the middle. I just thought it was so pretty, but you know, when you find something out, it doesn't have to be uh, be used for whatever the packaging says it is. You can be creative and use it for whatever you want. So today I'll be using it as my napkin holder. And last but not least is my tableware, the silverware, goldware, cutlery, whatever you want to call it. And these are so beautiful, but guess what? They are plastic. And these I purchased from Home Goods. Whenever I see something that just catches my eye, uh, if I can, I get it because I will be able to use it at some form or fashion for something else. But this is actually plastic wear. And if you don't know how to set your silverware on the table, you can always Google it. There is a standard way that your silverware should go on a table, but that's all right. If you don't have to use a standard, you can put it however you like it. But if you if it's something that you just wanna do based on table setting, and you can just look it up or put it however you like it. You know, when you're decorating your home, our mantra is, perfect because you always always want to make the life that you live a life that you love because life is short you can create your own values and, and rules and ways of doing things uh, there there is table etiquette but you can form your own just be creative it's your house Okay, so friends, last but not least, I have the other curtain panel, the same one that I used in the center of the table, and I'm going to use it as my tree skirt. When I bought this tree, I got it from either Lowe's or Home Depot last year, and it's a six and a half feet 
pencil tree and it's flocked. It came in this beautiful planter that you see. So I've been kind of undecided as to whether I wanted to use a tree skirt or not because I actually like the look of the planter. But I tell you what, you guys leave me a comment below if you like the tree better with just sitting in the planter or with the tree skirt. But I'm gonna go ahead and just use this curtain panel as my tree skirt. As again, as I said, shop your home. You don't have to always go out and buy new things. Just use what you have. This beautiful ribbon, Rhonda actually gave to me. She had some extra that she didn't use. She didn't use this pattern this year. And we were out one day and she saw it over the summertime and she just bought it. So when she began decorating her tree, she didn't need it. So it was perfect, perfect, perfect for me. The red little curly ribbon, I got those in Hobby Lobby. And I want you all to see this very special ornament right here. You know, I shared with you guys in another video that I've always kept all of the things that my children have made me over the years. And this was an ornament that my son made me back when he was in kindergarten, 2008. So these ornaments are always, and anything that they make me, I keep them forever. I, I cherish them and they're always a part of my Christmas decorations. I don't care how fancy something else looks. It is these special ornaments handmade with love that really make the tree for me. And it really, to me, is a part of why I love Christmas so much.